but you will see that instead of being at zero, you see how it's now almost four PSI off just from one drop. So I've just gotten used to knowing, okay, well my zero is actually four, you know, four uh, clicks beyond what the zero shows on this, okay? So, um, you know, it still almost is pointing directly up. It's just that the gauge itself has shifted to the right and the zero is now, you know, to the right instead of right at 12 o'clock. So, just from experience, do not drop these guys. They're sensitive. They have a heavy weight. This whole bottom part, I mean, this thing probably weighs five pounds. So, if it drops, it's going to drop hard. And if it drops, and it drops right on the needle, you know, that's going to affect it too. So, um, just uh, some words of advice. But, you know, if you don't already have a drum dial... It's highly, highly useful. It will make your tuning much quicker. If you're on a gig or you need to get something dialed in really, really quick and don't have time to spend, you know, an hour for setup and going drum by drum by drum and trying to make sure, oh, no, I don't like that. Let me start again. And, you know, I call that chasing your tail. So you don't want to be chasing your tail you don't want to have everything 99.9% .9 of the way there tuned only then to start messing with one lug, which will then put all the rest off, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, sorry guys, I know I accidentally did dropped the phone and hit uh, stop and re-record a couple times. So, I'm going to go ahead and um, upload these, and uh, this one's only two minutes, so... Hopefully the, the few together will help, and if anyone has any questions, like I said, please feel free to reach out, um, and it, it, between the drum dial and the, um, the, the other one that's the um, TuneBot, um, I highly, highly prefer the drum dial over the TuneBot, okay? It, TuneBot seems kind of like a gimmick to me. It's almost like tuning with harmonics in a guitar. Um, and if you have any overtones, you know, coming through, it's highly going to affect your tuning overall. So the drum dial gets each lug dialed in specifically, each one to the same tension, and then you won't have all those uh, uh, overtones and wonky things just from making one lug, you know, different than the rest of that kind of thing. So... Good luck, guys, but yeah, this, this drum dial, I've used it so many times. I've, tu I've tuned students' kits with it. Um, I've done fine-tuning with it. Um, you know, if things start to go out and I just need to do a quick, you know, half turn or eighth a turn, um, something like that to get the drums sounding back um, to where I'd like them, then drum dial all the way. So, all right, guys. Just a, a quick little, uh, you know, maybe something that'll help some guys tune. Um, you know, and it's great to know your drums and tune by ear. So, you know, just uh, getting that in addition to um, figuring out how to use the drum dial. And they are a bit pricey, but they are just worth their weight in gold. They really are. And you can tune so much quicker with them. You can even tune bass drums with them. Um, floor toms, obviously you're going to have looser tension. It's going to be more like tuning a, a, a bass drum that on a 16 inch floor than it is going to be tuning like a, you know, a 10 inch rack tom, um, or a 12 inch rack tom, um, than it will be tuning a larger, uh, diameter floor tom. So just keep that in mind, but they generally range from 65 to 75 and then 75 to 90, I know that seems really high, but 75 to 90 on the snares. And depending on whether it's a single ply or a double ply, because obviously the double ply is going to give you a darker and deeper fundamental, even though it's tuned the same and has the same PSI, 
the single ply heads are going to give you a much different sound um, even with the same exact PSI numbers than a two ply head will, especially coated versus, um, you know, clear versus a hazy, um, you know, like a hazy 300 as your rezzo on your snare. So, all right, guys, hopefully that helps some. Um, I'm all about sharing knowledge and uh, you know, if anything helps, uh, other people tune quickly, quickly, you know, that's probably one of our least favorite parts is tuning our drums. And, um, if you have good drums that stay put and like this Mapex, I hardly ever, ever have to tune this Mapex. It just stays and stays and stays. So, um, you know, depending on, uh, the type of lugs you have, like, I have these true pitch, um, you know, on the DW where they have finer threads so you're able to get in between, you know, um, notes or, or fundamentals that you wouldn't normally on a regular tension rod. Um, so, like, you know, just saying that it, it kind of depends on what your gear is um, and then how you like your drums to sound. All right, guys. Love you. Happy drumming. Happy tuning. And uh, have a great rest of your week uh, or, or weekend. And um, I will see you on the next one, guys. All right. Take care, guys. Happy drumming.